We are at uh, White City Community Learning Center, which is a program sponsored by ZHI in collaboration with FAWES. What I'm noticing among the learners here is, as a system, we are losing a lot of kids between primary education transiting to Form 1 secondary. And this is like a stopgap measure. We want to acknowledge the interventions being done by stakeholders. We would like to encourage parents to be very supportive of their learners through this program. But finally, they must all go back to the formal school. My name is Ndombizoto Moyo. I'm an educator here at the White City Center, which is under Fawesi. This center is helping children so much academically and even the games which they are playing. They feel free, they feel like occupied, they feel like they've got a home. These children seem to be taken from being an orphan to a child with a home. These children gain a lot of knowledge, like learning activities. Uh, we have got so many lessons we introduce to these children. Mathematics, science, uh, English, is in the valley their language which is mostly mostly used here in Matibeleland and they enjoy much to learn at the center and they are willing to go back to school as these children are most vulnerable. Most of them do not have money to go back to school, stationery and uniforms and even others come barefooted here which gives us a lot of uh, broken hearts and uh, we we, we end up not knowing what to do because others tell us their problems of not having food at their homes. We have got even children with disabilities like Kwanza Unity, who is physically disabled. She has got a visual disability and um, she's like crippled. She cannot walk well, but she comes from far as Mabonyane. We've got a place called Mabonyane to the center. She comes from there and come to our center to get the lessons and the sessions go well when she is there because she is always interested. And Gabriel, we had a sport cut accident need to be in a school which is more nearer more nearer than, than St. Anna, which is the nearest secondary school from the center. And if it happens that he goes back to school, we expect him to be staying in a cottage because he cannot, he can no longer walk long distances. We are working hand in glove with the, uh, the Minister of Education and engaging with the, the school in the area in so, so that they accommodate and uh, welcome these clients into their school since it's been quite a, 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 a long time they've, they've, they haven't been to school. <laughs> I'm not sure. 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 I'
grateful of what Fawazi is doing to our school with the number of dropouts who were taken by Fawazi teachers and uh, mother mentor they were being taught every Monday and Tuesday and right now we have got uh, three learners who have been reintegrated into the mainstream and they are really doing quite well. So far Fawazi has done a good job uh, it managed to take uh, to enroll children to come together, be able to interact with each other, and it makes them feel comfortable around people. It uh, boosts their self-esteem, so it's, it's kind of good work. I really love what they're doing. It's a good job, and I would love if they can enroll more children, different places, and uh, with different gender and all that, so that um, we can help. A better future. We are absolutely busy. We are in the last two hours in primary school. We are doing a program with Peter and Flowers. Because we are busy with our work. 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 There is some achievements which have been done. There is integration of 10 learners, of which we are proud of it. And we hope the rest of the learners who are here will be reintegrated back to school. And uh, we are so grateful of the sponsorship they are giving to our learners in terms of the stationery, in terms of the food packs. What we wish to see going forward is more learners being drawn from our community, being taken back to school so that they are free from these common abuses. Uh, so far, we have um, managed to uh, involve the Fawes adolescent girls and adolescent boys into the DREAMS program. Uh, from last year, we have eight of them who were re-enrolled into the formal education and we are supporting them with uh, exam fees, the school fees and also stationery. So to us it's an achievement since we are supporting the adolescent uh, girls and it's also helping them to realize that uh, they are important uh, in the community and even at school. Uh, we are also happy uh, with the partnership that we have with Fawes uh, since we are all supporting the adolescent girls and adolescent boys so that they can also uh, realize and also have hope in their lives. So we hope to continue to see the good work which is uh, happening.